So I had a client that I was working with the other evening and he'd mentioned that one of the reasons why he uh, he sought me out was because of mentioning um, that I knew people who had taken their lives and he had said that he was feeling very depressed himself. And he'd asked me what could he do to help alleviate his uh, depression. And it kind of got me thinking, this is why I've got the setup with uh, a, a lovely introduction that I will make very shortly while she's, she's cleaning herself. But I had said to him that, you know, when two years ago, everyone was in the lockdowns and we had to stay indoors and we were being isolated from the world and also from other people, um, I was very aware of my own mental health and how I was during that time of isolation, as well as just other people that I knew who were like the most confident of people. But when it came to getting back into just normal life, they had really struggled and they just didn't have that level of confidence that they had before. And I know even some still struggle to get that level of confidence back. But for me, I think what gave me a, a better purpose uh, in life was to just live for someone else or to live for something. And that is the premise of this video, that if you are struggling with depression or maybe you are feeling suicidal, absolutely, obviously, go for help. And what can also help just to work through those moments is to live for something that you stand for or to live for someone else. Because then if someone else is dependent on you, then you want to be there for them. You want to be supportive for them. And I think it then kind of takes the, uh, the focus off of yourself and it puts it on someone else. And this is why I have my lovely cat Lily in the, in the shot here while she's cleaning herself, bless her. Um, but for me, I have had um, cats ever since I was 16 years old for easily about 20 years or so. And even growing up, I mean, I was a really shy kid and I needed just a bit more unconditional love in my life. And I found for me that having a pet was one of those most incredible things. And you ask any pet owner just the difference that's made when you're certainly feeling either low or depressed, being able to have just an animal to, to, to cuddle or stroke or whatever, or just spend time with you during those moments that you know maybe that you need it. Um, it really has been a wonderful thing, you know, and growing up for me, as I say, I, I was shy. I had moments where I did feel very lonely uh, and sad and just having a pet just I turned that around for me. And certainly when I then got into the, uh, the self-development world, I mean, that made all of the difference anyway. But just having someone who's reliant on you, like... Lily can't feed herself and you know when she goes to use the toiletries you know she can't clean it you know she needs someone to do that otherwise you know the worst case scenarios can happen when she's ill you know she can't tell anyone that she's ill she needs someone to recognize that and then take her to the vet and just having that responsibility and accountability, which I have certainly mentioned throughout so many videos, is a vital element here to take, again, that focus off of yourself, that focus off of any problems or worries that you've got or where maybe you uh, reminisce on old uh, negative memories. Just having, you know, a pet can make all of the difference. But that's talking about if, you know, you're having someone else reliant on you. I mean, it maybe isn't even a pet. Maybe you're helping a person, maybe someone who is lonely or does need that support where 
if maybe you um you have the similar similarities with them then be that support for them you know there are plenty of uh places where you can act as i think it's called a sponsor where if someone is struggling you can be that person that they can talk to about their problems and again it just takes that focus off of your own problems in a way and you find that putting yourself in that teacher role and giving someone the advice that maybe you need actually gives you that third person perspective on the answers that you need to solve your own problems or your own worries that you've got in life. Um, even being supportive of a cause, you know, maybe there are charities that you'd want to get involved with or just other things like uh, safe in the rainforests or, you know, helping um, the homeless find homes or maybe even kids who need to be adopted. You know, maybe these are causes that are worth standing for because then you are helping other people with their problems and their traumas. And again, taking away that focus, taking away that attention on the problems that you've got, maybe one of the things that can also help to cure your depression or sadness or even suicidal thoughts. So this is really just something for you to, to think about. Um, it's certainly not medical advice, that much is true, but certainly just from experience and being around people that I have known who have dealt with um, the worst kind of traumas and even the few that have gone forward to, to end things for themselves, you know, just know that there are always alternative methods that can help with things and if maybe just living for someone else or for something else can be a possible angle, I was going to say opportunity, but angle, then give it a try. Um, if anything, please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, it's been kind of a busy week with work, so uh, hence why it has been a few days with no videos going out. But I should be back to, to normal now somewhat. Uh, so definitely expect videos from me on a regular basis again. Um, but if you can, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel where I can help with so many more uh, videos to help you with your anxiety. Um, if you are someone who does struggle with depression or suicidal thoughts, do please reach out to uh, the particular helplines that there are. Um, I will have a look and I will try and add what I can in the uh, description below. And also, I would love to hear your thoughts on the video in the comments below this as well. Um, what maybe are you doing uh, that is helping you to alleviate your uh, sadness or depression. Uh, I get this is a very specific video, so this probably wasn't going to be for everyone, but I'd love to hear, you know, what are you doing? And maybe even what you'd recommend to people to do if they are struggling and maybe you know someone who is struggling. And if you are also dealing with particular past traumas, um, I do offer my integral eye movement therapy. So, you know, do reach out for that if you um if you really are suffering um and and just experience what it's like maybe just having a detachment from a memory and then you can decide from there if maybe my uh alternative coaching is something for you but other than that i will be back to normal thanks very much for watching until the next video too